Hello friends, welcome to my channel Stems Biology. So today we will discuss a very important topic of human physiology that is nutrition. So first we will understand different types of nutrition. So I have here the different modes of nutrition. You can see herbivores that means the organisms who feeds on plants. Then Frugivores means the organisms who feeds on fruits, different types of fruits. Carnivores, we know different types of animals. When they feed with animals, it is the case when they are called carnivore. When the types of nutrition is the food is insects, the organisms those who feed with insects are known as insectivores. Omnivores, the best example is human being. We eat both plants and animals as our food. Then detrivores. Detrivores means they use decomposed plants and animals fragment. The fragments of decomposed plants and animals as their food, they are called detrivores. Then saprophytic and saprozoic. When the organism feeds on decaying plants, it is called saprophytic when with decaying animals it is called saprozoic another is cannibals cannibals we have seen in movies cannibals those organisms who feeds on their own species they eat their own species so they are called cannibals then caprophagus caprophagus means the organism who eats the fecal matter as their as their food Fecal matter. Then sanguivorous. Sanguivorous animals feeds on blood. Yeah? Next the fluid feeders. So fluid feeders means this, these are different from sanguivorous because sanguivorous eats blood, feeds on blood. But here the fluid feeders means they may eat blood but butterfly is also an example where the butterfly feeds on the fluid from different flowers so these are the various types of types of uh, nutrition depending on what the organisms eat what the organism feeds on so these are different modes of nutrition so before going in detail let's talk about the definition of nutrition and how it is different from digestion so let's see, nutrition is a larger term, is a broader term than the digestion. Digestion means the simplification of food. So the simplification of food that we eat, we eat normally the complex foods and the simplification of these complex foods are done, is done by the process of digestion. So always remember digestion is not similar with nutrition. Digestion is a part of nutrition. So digestion we can say mathematically it is a subset of nutrition. Clear? So what is digestion? Digestion is the simplification of simplification of complex complex food okay so digestion is the process by which the complex food that we take gets simplified now let's see what is nutrition nutrition is the process which involves the combination of processes combination of different processes like what are they like the digestion the simplification of food that is digestion and after the digestion of food it get absorbed into the bloodstream so then absorption absorption plus again after absorption it is used to to fulfill the demand in our body so digestion absorption then assimilation Assimilation means 
assimilation is the process by which the absorbed food is utilized in our process in our body to generate energy and fulfill different demands of the body like growth development replacement of dead cells okay so assimilation plus another thing the undigested food means the food that we eat are not all digested into simple form to get absorbed some of the food remains undigested which are not converted into simple absorbable form they are ejaculated means ejection ejection is another process involved in the process of nutrition so here intake of air is intake of uh, what intake of food is also involved means ingestion ingestion plus digestion plus absorption plus assimilation plus ejection ingestion and ejection are two different terms ingestion means the intake of food ejection means the outcome of undigested food or elimination of undigested food from our body okay so these are different ingestion digestion means conversion into simple form then absorption absorption into the blood stream then it is utilized in our body and elimination of undigested food all these together makes the complex process of nutrition whereas digestion is a part of nutrition clear so these are the two important terms now let's see what are the different types of food that we take so we know very well there are six different types of foods the carbohydrate carbohydrates the proteins proteins then fat then vitamins vitamins minerals and water so these are the six different types of food all these three are in their simple form but the tough three are in complex forms they need to be digested so these three are complex complex food okay so these complex foods need to be digested by the utilization of different enzymes secreted in our body so by the enzymes by the utilization of different enzymes in our body the carbohydrate converted into glucose which is a simple form which is simple observable form okay likewise the proteins converted into amino acids amino acids the fats converted into fatty acids fatty acids and glycerol okay so these three complex foods carbohydrate protein and fats get converted into glucose amino acids and fatty acid and glycerol in order to get absorbed into our blood stream to get utilized in our body so remember these are the six different essential types of foods for our body for normal growth and development of our body clear so now we will discuss about the two important types of digestion we know human is omnivorous animal omnivorous means we eat both plants and animals as our food plants and plant products animals and animal products as our food so we are omnivorous so in our body the digestion is extra cellular because it do not occur inside a single cell we are multicellular complex organisms so our body is very complex so the process of digestion takes place outside the cell not inside a cell clear so the process by which digestion takes place in higher multicellular organisms is extracellular digestion extracellular 
digestion okay another thing we need to focus in case of unicellular protozoa and porifera the types of digestion is intracellular which means the digestion takes place inside a single minute cell so it is intracellular intracellular digestion okay we will discuss in detail about these two terms extracellular digestion and intracellular digestion the first point will be here it is outside cell outside cell it occurs outside cells here the process takes place inside cell clear next point the extracellular digestion in this case the intake of food takes place the ingestion of food takes place through a particular aperture which we call the mouth so intake of food ingestion ingestion of food by mouth okay here in case of intracellular digestion the food enters into the cell by the through the plasma membrane through certain pores present in the plasma membrane ingestion through plasma membrane okay next the third point after ingestion of food in our body we will take the example of extracellular digestion it is human being or any higher vertebrate we can call so here after intake of food digestion takes place and here digestion digestion of food is done by the enzymes enzymes secreted from different glands secreted from different glands present in our body but here in case of intracellular digestion the food enters into the food vacuole there digestion takes place with the help of the enzyme which is called lysozyme secreted from the lysosome and we know that lysosome is known as the suicidal bag of the cell so here digestion digestion takes place with the help of enzyme also which is secreted by lysosome lysosome which is called lysozyme secreted from lysosome okay the lysosome is the cell organelle clear next where do digestion takes place in extracellular organisms inside a particular channel particular canal that is known as the digestive system or the elementary canal so here digestion takes place digestion takes place inside elementary canal but in this case in intracellular digestion the food enters into the cell and forms a food vacuole so here the digestion takes place digestion takes place inside the food vacuole food vacuole next after digestion the absorption of the digested food takes place into the blood so absorption absorption of digested food takes place into blood and in case of intracellular digestion the digested food is absorbed from the food vacuole because inside the food vacuole the food is digested as the lysosome fuses with the food vacuole lysosome secretes the enzyme lysozyme into that food vacuole where the foods are present and this lysozyme converts the complex foods into simple form and after the conversion it is absorbed into the cytoplasm so here absorption here absorption takes place into 
cytoplasm as the the total process is occurring inside a single cell after the simplification of food inside the food vacuole it is absorbed into the cytoplasm clear then the last point after absorption the undigested food get eliminated from our body from extra in case of extra cellular digestion it is eliminated out from the body through certain aperture so ejection ejection or elimination of food takes place through certain aperture known as anus anus in our case and in some cases it is also called cloaca here in case of intracellular digestion the ejection takes place to outside the cell through a certain aperture again as ingestion through plasma membrane ejection also takes place ejection also takes place through plasma membrane through plasma membrane certain apertures or certain pores are present which are responsible for ejecting out for throwing out the undigested food from the cell which are not required for the cell in case of intracellular digestion above all above all we have examples so example of extracellular digestion is multicellular multicellular higher higher organisms higher organisms including including human okay here in case of intracellular digestion the examples will be the unicellular unicellular organisms which are primitive like the protozoa example can be the amoeba amoeba can be the example of animal having intracellular digestion so this is all about the types of or modes of nutrition the difference between digestion and nutrition how digestion is a subset of the nutrition and how the extracellular digestion is different from that of the intracellular digestion and where these two different things are observed so this is all about the basic of nutrition in the next videos we will talk in detail about the human digestive system so thank you very much please subscribe to my channel